I am the greatest. Someone look power! Someone look power! Someone look there! What is up, guys? Marcellus Williams, aka the Swole Fester, here to educate you on health, fitness, and social well being. On my way to the gym. It's heavy bench day. I'm excited. Doubles, guys, this week. Like I said, it's the week of doubles, peaking for my meat. I've got 325 pounds for three sets of two on binge, and then after that, it'll kind of be similar to the squats so where I'll drop the weight about 50 pounds and then do three by three. But guys, understand this. I woke up at 162.3 pounds this morning. I'm sipping on my Smoothie King, guys. For those of you who follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, either or, you know what's in here. I want y'all to put down in the comments below what's in here. I want y'all to guess. See how well my viewers actually pay attention to my life outside of my informative videos. <laughs> now, but anyway, um, so yeah, uh, woke up at 162. What did I say? I just said it. Three? Yeah, three pounds today. So guys, understand this. My max is already well over double my body weight. But if I get these doubles, I can officially say that I rep with over double my body weight on bench press. That, that... Man, I can't even tell you how sick that will be to be able to say that. Ugh, excuse me, won't lie. I may have, you know, may have not eaten as much as I usually do yesterday because I woke up at like 163 yesterday. So I wanted to make sure I was under that just because that would be technically like 326 I would need. And, you know, I'm not about to try to figure out a way of putting one pound on the bar for a bench. But anyway, yeah. So that's what's on the agenda for the day. Got the doubles with 325 on bench, triples with 275, and then some squat accessory work. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, guys, workouts aren't that long in terms of the amount of exercises. They're a little bit longer due to the rest time, but that's about it. It's just focusing on the big three and peaking, and that's, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I will see you guys at the gym. All right, guys, so working my way up on bench. Gonna hit 275, 300, and then go to 325. I really hate the benches here at iFit because they're so slick, hard to dig my back into, but it's what it is, gonna get it done. All right, guys, so 275, I'm fast as crap. I'm gonna hit this 300 for a single, and then go to my first set of doubles with 325. Thankfully, it's a touch and go. I thought I was gonna have to pause these, but it's for a touch and go, but then I have the 275 with three, three paused after that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys this warm up, and then we'll get right into it. crap guys I don't know if I'm just feeling good today or if it's because I usually squat first then bench and this time I get to bench first but I'm feeling good I'm feeling confident I'm about to smash these doubles but we'll see First and second rep on the first set felt great. On the second set, first rep felt good. Second one was kind of tough. And then on that third set, both of those were kind of a grind, but feel good. PR, happy I got through it. 
And the thing is, guys, at the end of the day, at a meet, it's only the one that counts, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get three attempts on each lift, and you're only doing it one time. So I'm feeling pretty happy, pretty confident right now. I'm gonna knock out these 275, knock out my squats, and then be done. Back at the crib, workout is done. Like I said, really excited about that bench. And here's the thing you gotta keep in mind, guys. When it comes to powerlifting, your bench, assuming everything about you is relatively normal, your bench is always gonna be your weakest lift. Obviously, you're gonna squat and deadlift a whole lot more than your bench. And that's why there's some people that have, you know, like they have really great benches and they think, oh, I'm gonna destroy a powerlifting. But the thing is, guys, you're not gonna wanna meet off your bench alone like if you have a really crappy squat and deadlift and a solid bench it doesn't matter because obviously people are going to deadlift and squat more than your bench so that's not you know really a great tool but the reason my bench benefits me so much is one it's relatively heavy for my weight class especially and because i do have a fairly solid deadlift and squat since i've really been able to bring those up along with my bench it's what's going to kind of set me apart because if my deadlift and squats or even around the same numbers as everybody else in my weight class, then my bench is gonna be what really pushes me forward. So just keep that in mind, guys, and keep that in mind with everything in life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't just focus on your strengths, build up your weak points, because if you can build your weak points at least up to like an average level, then your strengths are just gonna push you even further forward. And that's with anything in life, guys, with any skill, any talent that you're learning, don't just focus on what you're naturally good at, build up what you're good at, but build up your weaknesses too, so that way what you're good at just sets you even further apart than what it already does. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you did. If you didn't, leave a comment down below. Let me know why you didn't. Like the video. Share. Subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell too, because a lot of you guys keep asking, like, where's the new video at? Guys, I upload almost, like, daily. Turn your notifications on. <laughs> keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch you later. I am the greatest.